2015 Barbecue Hall of Fame induction ceremony. My name is Kim Palmer and I am with the American Royal and I am proud to share the stage with these incredible barbecue icons. Each year, the American Royal World Series of Barbecue pauses to honor the history of barbecue and the legends that have paved the way. I'd like to take, thank you all for taking the moments to step away from your barbecue pits to join us as we induct and celebrate the newest members to the Barbecue Hall of Fame. In 2012, under the leadership and guidance of Mr. Bob Peterson, CEO and President of the American Royal, we proudly became the home of the Barbecue Hall of Fame. Tonight, we continue the tradition, and I am honored to introduce our Master of Ceremonies for the evening, Mr. Bob Peterson. Thank you, Kim Palmer. I hope my voice holds up. I've been talking too much. I've been breathing too much barbecue. It's wonderful. Let me say thank you to Kim Palmer and her assistant, Brady Madsen. They've done an awesome job. They have worked so hard, folks, to have this organized, to pull everything together. Huge undertaking in the first year to change venues. So thank you, Kim. Thank you, Brady. And welcome to the 2015 American Royal World Series of Barbecue Hall of Fame induction ceremony. As you know, we are a nonprofit, and this barbecue weekend, along with the other events that we host throughout the season, help us raise money for scholarships for youth and education. The Hall of Fame is a very special thing to us. It's special because of the people and the friendships and the relationships and those that we have honored who have gone before them. And as I've Thank gone you. through the grounds today, I've been in this job five years, I feel like I'm starting to get to know many of you. It's a wonderful, special community that has come together to honor these three people who have accomplished such a body of lifetime of work that worth thrilled to be part of. As Kim mentioned, in 2012, the American Royal became the official home of the Barbecue Hall of Fame. It exists to recognize and preserve the heritage of barbecue in our world. It honors the evolving history and traditions of barbecue and keeping in line with the American Royal's purpose of supporting children and education, the Hall of Fame exists to educate about barbecue. Barbecue's top honor is being elected to the Barbecue Hall of Fame. Yeah. These inductees tonight are chosen and honored from three different categories. Business and industry, pit master, and celebrity humanitarian. Well, my name is Ed Fisher. And about um, 40 years ago, I took this uh, clay cooker that I had brought back with me from Japan, and I figured I could make it a little bit better. And uh, worked on it a while, and uh, figured we might sell a few. Uh, gave it a name. Didn't know what to call it at first, but uh, it was big and looked like an egg, and it was green, so I called it the Big Green Egg. And here I am, 40, de 40 years later, and uh, I'm honored to be in the company of such giants in the barbecued world, such as Paul Kirk. Yeah, bring my weight into it, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Steve Rigland. Great. And I'm Stephen Reichlin, uh, and I'm absolutely thrilled with the honor of being inducted into the Barbecue Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm a little bit different than everybody in this world. Uh, this was not my world, barbecue. Uh, I actually have a degree in French literature. And 20 years ago, this crazy idea popped into my head, and that is, wouldn't it be amazing to travel around the world and document how people grill and smoke in different countries. And so I embarked on this journey, and the uh, result was a book called The Barbecue Bible. 
And that led me into the world of barbecue, and I've been doing it ever since. Uh, I've written eight books, I've made four TV series, uh, I have uh, explored barbecue everywhere from uh, Bali, Indonesia to uh, Burbank, California. And uh, every day I thank my lucky stars that I've discovered barbecue and barbecue has discovered me. My name is Paul Kirk, I'm known as Kansas City Baron of Barbecue. Uh, this will be my 35th American Royal. I missed the first one, didn't know it was happening. Uh, it's been a long run, it's been a fun run, and I too am very proud to be inducted into the Barbecue Hall of Fame. Okay. Uh, other than that, I've cooked, I'm uh, written or helped written or co authored 12 cookbooks, bar all in barbecue. Uh, I love what I do, I love to teach it, uh, and that's primarily what I do is teach barbecue.